Hey guys, Reed here. Today's a video that I'm actually excited to show you. It started out from this YouTube comment that you see here that brought up the topic of how do I actually use a native or base matrix or standard table in Power BI that allows me to select multiple options and then drill through. Now, kind of an issue with a base table is the fact that you can't actually make multiple selections and then select any of those rows to drill through. You can really only drill through on one row at a time. Similar with certain visuals, you can only really drill through from one piece at a time. So that had me look on Google. I came across this great article from Purple Frog that you see here. And as soon as I saw that you can use a single value card to do this, that got me thinking about some formatting options. So a couple of solutions that I came up with. Number one that you see here, we're gonna actually see how to use a single value card for this, but turn it into more of a button-like experience. And then separately, we're also gonna see kind of how to build this directly in the title as well. So both of these are gonna be some fun, creative aesthetic options that I took that initial article and improved it upon. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and see how I did it. So we're gonna start the conversation by seeing the output. Notice that it is saying select filters for drill through. So if I was to select any of the rows in here, you can see that the button, quote unquote, up here now has a dark color and it is telling you you can right click here to drill through. So again, this is technically a single value card that I'm doing, but the nice thing with this now is I can select multiple values. I can right click, drill through to that page. And then if we open up the filters pane over here, we can see all of those included filters. Now let's go ahead, go back to the main page again. So this is gonna go ahead and work with any of the filters that I have onto the page. If I select computers, I selected any of the visuals on it, but I've essentially, but I've essentially created a dedicated drill through button using a single value card that allows for multiple selection even across other different visuals. So it's very useful to be able to have the ability to select any number of elements from a visual itself and then having that option to click over here. Now, one downside is the fact that you do need a right click. There's no way to just click on the single value card to get this. So it is one extra click to get through to get to there, but it is still giving you the same results that you would have with a drill through button, but with a multi-selection option. Now this other page, I had a similar concept, but I wanted to see if I can include it and bake it into a visual a little bit. So in the an example here, I am now gonna select multiple rows and instead of having it as a dedicated button on the page, I've actually included it right here in the title. So similarly, I can right click and there's also as well here, a drill through option to that page. So I've actually included a button, I've done some tweaking and some layering to get it to look like it is a seamless integration right here inside of the header of the table itself. So let's go ahead and go back into Power BI Desktop now and see how I built this. So let's start by selecting the button up here and as you can see in the visualizations pane, it is a single value card over here. So we can confirm that I am using a card and the actual field itself is a text value. So if I select this, go ahead and open up the measure, what I have is a filter check. So basically all of the different visuals that I have on the page, as far as what I'm displaying, it, any of my charts, any of my graphs or the tables themselves are being checked to here to see if they are actually filtered. So I have a variable for a filter check and then I have a variable for the result. And down here, it's simply seen, hey, is this filter check returning true for any of these filters? If that is the case, say the words, right click here for drill through, otherwise select filters for drill through. So that is what is displaying on this single value card here to create a button like effect to guide the users on what they would wanna do. Now, alternatively, if I come over to the format pane and I go to the background, notice the F of X symbol here. If I open that up, you can also see there is a field value with drill through color for the button. So let's close this, come over to the button drill through color here, open this back up, and we can see that I have two variables for a light and a dark blue here. Again, the same filter check being done. And now the result is again checking true or false in either dark or light blue. So I'm essentially creating the effect to deactivate or activate the button, quote unquote, to be able to pull this into here. And that with the achieved effect, again, if I close this out, when I make any kind of selection, it will then change the color and the text to make it very obvious that the user can now right click to drill through to the corresponding page. So now that we've seen how to make the button, we're gonna flip gears a bit and see how I can integrate this directly into the title. And I had a bit of fun doing this one and it took a bit of layering. So let's go ahead and see how that was done. So again, what we have now is a report page in front of us. If I was to make any filter selections, notice that the title in the upper right now has that option to right click here to drill through. So same effect, but it is now built into the title. 
So if we actually come up to the selection pane, open this up, and look at the drill through button. That, to start with, let's go ahead and make a filter selection so we can keep it there. There we are. Now if I hide this, that actually goes away. Technically the title text is behind it. So I'm gonna make that visible again. I'm gonna open up this pane. I'm gonna select here. Let's go ahead and open up the format pane. Now take a look at the background. That also has the handy F of X button. There is a drill through color title. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. I'm gonna go through drill through color title. Open this up here. And you can see that a similar filter check is being done. However, the two options that are being returned is light blue and transparent color. That paired with the effect of a 40% transparency means that this will still allow that text behind it to show through, but it essentially activates and deactivates the button that's on the top there. Now below that is the actual title itself. I used a button for a couple of reasons. The fact that the text can be a left aligned. So even when it is right click here to drill through, or if I have that unselected, it's always gonna have a left aligned option. If I had just used only a drill through button as a single value card, then the text would move over into the center of this button whenever there was different lengths of text. And I didn't quite want that. I wanted this to look like a clean title, so that's why I layered two of these. And last but not least, you might be wondering, well, why didn't you just have the title built directly in to the actual title of the visual itself? We open it up here, you might notice that this is blank, but there is an F of X symbol. Now I wanna mention right now, one kind of annoyance of the built-in titles of Power BI is that other filters from other visuals can be passed to it. Filters from inside of that visual, meaning selections on the rows, does not actually get passed through and those filters do not propagate back to its own title. So there's a limitation there. I kind of wished it would be able to do that, but there is no way to write the DAX to actually capture that. So that's why I needed a dedicated left aligned button in between, kind of sandwiched between those to provide the text. And if you're wondering how I got the blank into here, I actually just Googled blank character. There's a lot of websites that let you copy that out. When you paste it into here, it is blank, but it is recognized as a non-blank character. So it allows it to be completely empty as far as the text itself that goes into the title without turning it off, which in this case would actually scoot the whole visual up. So between all of those three layers together, I am able to get that nice little clean effect that I'm kind of wanting for select off of that to have that button and even make this a little bit bigger, have that be able to just be baked in right into the title to still give that effect when you click onto it. But either way, I'm very happy that that comment got brought up and I encourage all of you to ask questions like that. When I can get a comment that inspires me to go check online to see if something exists or do some creative other alternative solutions for it, it's great for me. So thanks again uh, for getting that comment out there. Uh, really cool thanks to Purple Frog for having that initial article that inspired me to use a single value card. And then from there, I took it and I found a couple of fun ways to kind of implement this. So hopefully some of them are useful. Uh, as you can see here, check out some of the videos that I have associated over here, or over here, one of the two that will uh, link you to some of my other videos. Uh, please hit that subscribe or like button if you actually like this. It does help promote my channel and uh, really is uh, good for me to continue to make some more of these videos. And otherwise, I will see you all in the next video.